Former President Biden has been diagnosed with an aggressive form of prostate cancer that has now spread to his bones. That diagnosis made Friday after the former president reported increased urinary symptoms, which led doctors to find a nodule on his prostate. Biden and his family are now reviewing treatment options with his doctor. And now we're joined by a local medical expert. Here to talk more about the former president's diagnosis is Dr. Alexander Kudakov, chair of the Department of Urology at Fox Chase Center, a Cancer Center. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, our pleasure. So uh, first off, what makes this diagnosis so rare? Yeah, what's important to understand is that um, about 300,000 men get diagnosed with prostate cancer in the United States a year. Half of them actually have low-risk cancer where tr immediate treatment is not necessary. The, um, President Biden has a prostate cancer that's metastatic at presentation, which means at the time that the cancer is diagnosed, the cancer has already spread and his cancer appears to have spread to the bone. This is uh, a less than 10% scenario, about five to 8% of men when they get diagnosed with prostate cancer already have spread. So this is a, quite a rare scenario. So explain to us, presuming that uh, President Biden was receiving regular checkups, why, was not, why wasn't this caught earlier? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, obviously, um, the public doesn't have that information. What's important to know is that prostate cancer screening is quite a complex topic, and the American Neurological Association recommends screening from 55 to 69. In other words, men who are 70 and older, the community, the guidelines really feel strongly that there's more harm than good in screening. Um, what, what that means is, is that PSA blood test is usually not routinely checked in men over mm -hmm. 70. Now, President Biden sounds like was having new symptoms, and this is when he underwent the evaluation. So at age 82, how do doctors balance treatment and quality of life in a situation like this? Oh, absolutely. This, this is a very complex topic. It's, uh, the treatment is very individualized. This is um, somebody needs to take into consideration other um, what's called comorbidities, other diagnoses, other conditions that the, that the patient has. Uh, but this is generally a cancer that, unless somebody is really uh, at the end of their life, this is a cancer that we absolutely treat, since we have so many effective treatments for it. All right. Well, the positive news is that his doctors are saying that it is uh, a type of cancer that can respond to hormones. So we'll have to watch closely to see what ends up happening there. Dr. Alexander Kudakov, chair of the urology department at Fox Chase. Thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate your insight, doctor. Thank you. All right. And we'll continue to have coverage of President Biden's cancer fight treatments and any health updates on air streaming and online at CBSPhiladelphia.com.